Okay, today, welcome to Trailer Source. Today we're going to have a look at the new Winnebago Drops. These are a great lightweight trailer. Winnebago, of course, has been around since 1958, been built in RVs for a very long time. And uh, Trailer Source in, uh, in Colorado is, is currently the exclusive distributor of the Winnebago Towables. So on this product, weighs under 2,800 pounds dry, so you can virtually tow it with just about anything. Features like a one-piece fiberglass roof, the uh, sidewalls are actually a gel coat finish, which is um, very advantageous in the future. This will continue to look nice as it does today. On the uh, passenger storage, if you look through here, you can see that we've got an automotive bulb style seal. So this is going to keep your, uh, your belongings dry and clean. And you also can see that we've got a battery cutoff in here. So that can help preserve your uh, battery life during storage. <clears throat> the, uh, one of the items that they construction techniques they use uh, plywood in this product instead of OSB or wafer board. So the floor decking is a 5 8 plywood. Now plywood costs more, it's more durable, and it's a lighter weight product, and that's the reason they use it. Coming on back, you can see that you can work your speakers outside, and there is a multimedia center inside. We'll look at it in a minute, but it, does, it is Bluetooth capable, so you could stream your, your music through that, and if you want to put your music outside, you can do that. As we go back and we look at the uh, tires and wheels, you can see that it, the green cap indicates that these are nitro filled. So a nitrogen filled tire is a more consistent tire for heat and cold. It doesn't expand and contract like normal atmosphere. So what that translates to is a, is a tire that tends to last longer. The, um, and then also you'll see that these have aluminum wheels. Now aluminum actually has a function in RV land and that function being aluminum dissipates heat much faster than a steel wheel. So uh, brakes, tires tend to last longer. And speaking of that, those are self-adjusting brakes, and these are torsion axles. So coming back here a little further, again, we see huge pass-through storage. Again, so we've got a lot of storage on this little trailer. And let's walk around the other side. So another nice feature they thought of is up here is a place to store your sewage tank. So you don't have to have your sewage hose uh, stored in a compartment along with other things that maybe you don't want to do that with. So here's a separate place to store your, your sewage. And up here we do have a diamond plate front to protect the front of your trailer from rocks flying up from the tow vehicle. And it does come with a, with a battery and a 20 pound LP tank. So again on here, here's another example of spending a little more money on something, but it's a nice feature, the Jollicy style windows, these actually open out. So now even if it's raining, you can have the window open to get a little bit of ventilation in there. We have an outside shower here. So you want to wash off your feet, the kids, the dog, whatever you can do that. Coming back here, we have a marine style 30 amp disconnect. The advantage of this is it's much easier to handle than trying to push it into the body of the coach, but also there's, it, it prevents insects, rodents from getting into your motorhome with the other, or your trailer with the other style. And here's your park cable. Um, we do have a, a six gallon gas and electric Atwood heater. This actually has, with gas and electric, you've got a recovery rate of faster than 17 gallons per hour, so plenty of hot water available there. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, so once again, we're back at the entrance, getting ready to go in. We've got this oversized grab handle, great safety feature for entering and exiting the, the unit. If you look down here, we have our electrical panel. Now behind this, here's your 12-volt fuses, your 110 stuff. One of the nice features of this particular type is if a fuse were to blow in the 12-volt system, you'll see a red light, and you can see it right through there, so you'll immediately know if something's going on with that. Stepping inside. Having a, uh, the U-shaped dinette gives you a nice big dinette area. This table is also portable. It makes it down into a big bed, or you can take that table outside and, and have, a, um, have your table outside if you wish for a nice big seating area. Going into this slide, which really opens up this little trailer a lot, we've got a 4.2 cubic foot uh, three-way refrigerator, actually. It's gas, it's 110 volt, and it's 12 volts, which is a little different, which is really great for folks that want to boondock and, and dry camp. This refreeze, freezer unit is removable to give you additional refrigerator space if you don't want that in there, so that, that freezer can pop out. We've got a nice two burner stove, a deep sink basin, a high rise faucet so you can get those big pots and pans in here, and nice storage up above. In fact, I would show you part of the convection microwave that we have here. This is about the size of a dinner plate. 
And you can see that's quite a bit more storage than you think. So there's a lot of room up there for storage. Then coming on back, we've got more storage here again. We've saved space because we've got the convection microwave, so this is all open for additional storage. You notice again plywood on all the drawers, and we've got full extending roller glide, metal roller glides on the drawers, so very good quality. All the lighting inside and out is LED, so uh, nice and bright. They don't use a lot of power, and they don't generate a lot of heat, so that's, that's a really a good thing. Standing, uh, I'm at, I stand six foot one, and I can easily stand underneath this 13.5 BTU air conditioner, so plenty of cooling capacity for this unit. You're not going to hit your head on it. Coming back to the wet bath, again with the LED lights, we've got a big fan in here. There's uh, storage, you can see back here, place to put your shampoo and things back in here. And this does have a shower curtain that goes around, so these walls are protected if you're going to use that. And we should talk about this right here, this multimedia center. So you can play DVDs here. You can, uh, again, do the Bluetooth, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, your Pandora music. And over here we have, uh, this is a nice feature of your power slide out, so you can actually shut the power off to this before... So you can completely disable that unit. Uh, so uh, I'm Paris Inman, Trailer Source, and this has been our Winnebago Drop.